welcome back. This is going to be a feeding video of my bigger tarantulas. This is one of my female Avic Apex. Let's see if she wants a super worm. Uh, I take that as a yet. She's always a pretty good eater. Well, we'll move on to the next Avic. Avic. Stands for avicularia avicularia. This one actually molted recently. It's funny how they destroy their webbing after molting. Whew. We'll see if she wants a super worm. Let's find one. There you go, girl. Want a super worm? Yep. She was hungry, too. Give her some water. And we'll move on. Okay, you've probably seen this male in the last video because I rehoused him, he molted and I rehoused him into a bigger enclosure. But I have a pupae of a superworm. Let's see if he's interested. Yep. Gotta love Acanthus gray geniculatus. Always willing to eat. I swear, even in pre-molt, they always want to eat. Right up until they molt. Let's give them some water. It's always good that they eat after being rehoused. Okay, and the next one will be a Phonopelma simani. She likes to rearrange. cricket. I take that as a no. Oh. Stop jumping on his head. Or her head, I should say. Okay, well, we'll move on to the next. And this one, I can say, probably won't eat, so I'll just show him or her to you. I've had it for a while at this size. Doesn't like to eat. The phone of Pelma Calcodes, I'm guessing female, I don't know yet, hasn't molted in my care. So I'll get some more tarantulas. This is my Brachypelma albicept. I don't think she needs to eat, her butt's pretty big. So we'll just give her some water. I do recommend one of these little spray things. It makes it so much easier. Okay. This is my GBB Chromatopelma Cianio pubescens. Stunning tarantula. I love my GBB. See if we can find the super. I know I'm running low on them. Oh, she must be in pre molt. She usually never refuses a meal, so just give her some water. Then we'll move on. Another one uh, with a big booty waiting for a molt. 
my Syrac Jars Darlingi. I'd have to say some of these Latin names are not very easy to say. That's her there. Maybe we can get a closer shot. Kind of dark, but that's her there. I'm new to this filming stuff, so bear with me. On with the next. As you saw in the last video, I had a smaller Ramasola portery. And this is a bigger one that I have that I've had confirmed female. Another one that doesn't like to eat, so we'll move on. Up next is my Grandma Stola Pokra. She's in pre-molt. She hasn't eaten in a few weeks. So we just top up her water and move on. Okay. The next one is a very nice looking, well, they're all very nice looking tarantulas. But this is a Montanteropus balfouri. Sorry for butchering it. She's another one that's on the to-do rehouse list. I want to give her a bigger enclosure to web up. So let's see if she'll take this. Oh, she attacked it. I can't see where it went. This is the thing I don't like about superworms. They always like to dig. Well, I'll go find that and we'll go on to the next. This is my Talita Cotto, a bop, bop up, oh my, a hobby form number one. I have a few. I don't know, I just like their curly little hairs. They always like to eat. And I'll clean up her water dish here off camera because, well, that's kind of boring. So we'll move on. This is my Tedlito Cotto Abopolosum number two. Female, both of them. Top off her water. And we'll move on. The next one has a big booty. Toledo Cotto Verdesi. So I don't think I'm going to give her any food because she does have a big butt. Most of these tarantulas I've had since tiny slings and raised up I still do that as you seen in my last video on with the next this is my Afona Pelma Simani bigger female Let's see if she wants a cricket yep usually a pretty good eater can top up her water And we'll move on with the next one. This here is my female Brachypelma homori. See if she wants a cricket. Ooh. Maybe she's in pre-mold. We'll take it away then.